this is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past Randomized. Alright, we are almost done with the Palace of Darkness here. I just need to go down and beat the boss. Yeah, I don't need to beat those guys. I don't want him to get him out of the way. Eh. Too long to get back to the hammer. Okay. Being annoying. All right. I'm for the Helmosaur King. I believe once you get his mask off, you can one-shot him with a silver arrow in the middle of the forehead. But with the gold sword, you can also just take two hits. Okay, another crystal and another piece of heart. Now on to finish Swamp Palace, I guess. At least with the whistle, or with the flute, we do have um, fairly quick access to get around the map now. Forget to flood the palace. I guess I really didn't need to beat those guys anymore since I already had the chest there, but that's fine. Yeah, I still got eight checks in here. So we could get a lot of the stuff that I'm missing yet. Of course, Turtle Rock is going to be the one that has the most available. Yeah, last time I came in here, I forgot I needed the hammer to get past this part even, so yeah, we really couldn't do much in here without it. You can bomb the wall to the left there, but it doesn't lead you to anything other than like a 
just a pot you can pick up or a couple of them. I can get that key right away. Another piece of heart. Got to be getting almost all of those. Although I still do have quite a few hearts to get. Now, I'm going to be careful here because I did pick up that key out of the pot. So if you're not really paying attention and just kind of going along, you can accidentally flood the key. I've seen there are tricks and methods that you can use to be able to basically walk on water that would still let you get the key even after it's flooded, but I haven't tried those out too much and I'm not comfortable with trying to do that on a on a video here that I'm recording. So the safest way is to just go around and make sure you get that key before you before you flood this. Also, I do want to leave the, the blue ones up. Yeah, and from what I've seen from people that try to race through this, a lot of times they'll gamble on trying to just skip left side swamp here because it is a little bit out of your way as far as time goes for just, I think, two checks over here. But then again, if you leave it and it was an item you need, a little bit of a gamble. another heart piece and some bombs so nothing I need but I'm trying to complete it 100% so I'm still fine with getting it Take this one. Yeah, because this will let me drain it. Although I have seen, like the thing I talked about, the trick where you can walk on the water, basically. You can basically skip draining it. And this room would be full of water, but you can still get these, tre these um, treasures if you use the trick. I know it involves using the cane of Samaria, I believe, the red one, and making one of those blocks. And basically, yeah, jumping off the railing while pushing yourself against the block in between them, kind of. I don't know. Like I said, I've seen it, but I haven't done it. Alright, there's another heart piece. A lot of those lately. And we're almost done, just the boss now. And then I guess off to Turtle Rock because I still don't have a big key for Ice Palace. And I have everything I need to beat Turtle Rock completely.
All right. Too bad I didn't quite get him before that cycle thing. It was a little slower. And I think just two hits with the gold sword will do it. Wow. Another piece of heart. I guess while I'm here, I can check the Pyramid Fairy, too. Yeah, why don't we go do that? Okay, I kind of want to kill that guy just out of spite here. For being a pain in the ass. Yeah, that costs a hundred at this point. Who cares? At fourteen hundred rupees anyway. Oh god damn it! Yeah, I guess I can't jump down the ledge with it. I forgot about that. I thought it was just that you can't sprint while you're holding it, or you can't use the boots. Although there are ways around that too. Like I've seen people, if you do a hook shot to grab onto something and then sprint, you'll still have it with you. Another thing that I've seen, but haven't tried enough to want to try to do it here. I'll just continue my leisurely stroll through Hyrule. Yeah, I remember always thinking when I was younger, I was like, oh, this would kill you if you get hit by that, right? But no, it doesn't do anything to you. Okay. Ganon's Tower, small key. That should allow me to finish doing everything in there if I want to go back and do it. As far as other items, I think all I'm missing is the shovel, which I know where it's at, and the bug net. Not sure where this is going to mirror me if I do it right there. Good enough. Well, Turtle Rock and Ganon's Tower are both up here, so I can just go over to GT after I finish Turtle Rock off, I guess. I know there's also a trick with using your hook shot or something and your sword swing to do fast speed going up the stairs. I need I think you need the hook shot. And well, and the boots. Obviously. There's a fairy over here anyway, so I guess I wouldn't really need that heart of health. I can get the fairy. Dang rock guys. Yeah, I say good. Can I get past him? Yeah. Yeah, these are probably some of my least favorite enemies in the game just because you don't kill them with regular hits. I think you can use ether to take them out. But they just get in my way.
All right. I guess I can see what the hint is. Unique item is above the pose. I believe that's talking about the mirror ledge above the cemetery. I don't remember what it was, but I did get it. Doesn't really matter what order I do these in, there's just one item down here. Money, money. I absolutely don't need. Now for this... Not quite as good as I could have done there, but it'd be plenty of time. No. Thought I activated my tape, but I guess not. There's the Ice Palace big key. Let's go ahead and finish her off here anyway, though. Because I guess the way we're going to do it, Ice Palace will be the last location, basically, anyway. And yeah, if you get both of them, you can switch between which one you're going to use like that. Yeah, these guys actually do quite a bit of damage. I say as I keep running into them, although with my armor and with the amount of hearts I have, I'm not worried about it. Plus, I'll just stop and get a fairy here. kind of forget which one goes to which side on this. Okay, yeah, that's the one I want. Save yourself, Dr. Light. some bombs. Not sure if it's faster to backtrack after you get that treasure chest in the middle or faster to go back all the way around here. But either way, we're already there now. and get our shovel.
Yeah, you know what? I know the people that are really good at this and speedrun it. They're pretty good at manipulating those guys to be able to go where they want them to, but... It's easier for me to just shoot them. Alright. We're only halfway done with the treasures in here. Uh, most of them are all in one location. I don't think I need to beat that guy, but here's one of the treasures. And yay, ten arrows. I used to kind of consider this room to be fairly difficult, but as I've gotten more used to it, I don't anymore. Still don't necessarily like it. But it's fairly easy to navigate if you know where you're going. Thing here. This is a lot easier with the mirror shield. I know people that are good at it can do it without getting hit, but I'm actually going to open this up and step outside here. Just because now, if I go back in, if I do end up dying trying to get the rest of these, it'll spawn me back here. Oh, well, that should solve that. And I do have a fairy too, I guess, so I also got that to fall back on if I get in trouble. Now all we got left is the boss as far as treasure goes. Okay, good enough. Not that I really need to save magic, but I'll do that first. I always see a lot of the people I um, watch will go with the ice first, but I'd like to get rid of the ice one first, so I go with the fire rod first. I guess that's probably why, because the red one sticks his neck out first. But the blue one shoots ice on the floor, and I'd rather not have that getting in my way if I don't have to. Back up. Shooting the wrong way. Either way. We'll still get him taken care of, no problem.
All right, there's another heart. So, I got probably two full heart containers left. Because I think I've gotten quite a few of the pieces of heart. Well, actually, I guess I can check that in the menu and see if I have... If I got another individual piece after the full one, because I don't recall. Okay, I do have two. So actually, there's probably two pieces and then one full container, I guess. While we're up here, let's go back to Ganon's Tower. Yeah, with the mirror sheet and I, we're all decked out. Totally golden Mega Man. I guess as far as main items, I still was looking for that bug net. I gotta remember to go dig the shovel site too. At least I already did the room over here, so don't need to sit here and wait for that. not taking me just yeah I wanted to kind of go through here and clear it out first it's a little easier that way get through there and I think the easiest way to do this is to pick one of those and throw it over there and here are other full for our other four treasures in here Okay, that's it for there. Oops. <laughs> Guess we gotta get down off of the stairs. Probably fast just to go back to the house here. Because we're gonna go digging. Then that should just leave us with just Ice Palace, which. Well, this is probably where we're gonna leave off today, is after I dig this up, so. We'll just have Ice Palace and Ganon, I guess, tomorrow. And that should wrap it up. Oh yeah, you can also switch that. Okay, yeah, I guess I was missing another bottle too, so there we go. I guess the bug net would have to be a nice palace. And then a heart container piece and a full heart container. And another GT big or GT small key. And maybe a couple other small keys, I think, maybe that I don't have yet. Uh not 100% sure. There might be one or two small keys total, I suppose. Anyway, we're going to call it there for today, so thanks for watching. And if you've been enjoying the content so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow. And we'll catch you next time.